Comics and welcome to Full Run Fridays. Today's episode, episode seven, is a little bit different. It is not a full run of comic books. It's a complete run of the Star Wars cards from 1977. All five series, blue, red, yellow, green, and orange. One through, I think it's 330 something. Um, and there's no way I can show you the vertical ones and the horizontal ones without switching back and forth. So just going to keep it like this. I might at times flip up the binder and just do a little bit of this action. Actually, you know what? I might do that action anyway. I think that's a better way to see them. Sorry, this is not professionally edited. This is me doing my thing. All right. So I have had three of these sets for a while. I've had most of the red and green and part of the orange, but I have not had any of the blue or yellow until now. Um, I got these at different, you know, antique shops and used toy stores and stuff along the way. Um, but I recently went to Destiny City Comics, shout out Destiny City Comics, and he had gotten a whole bunch of cards in. Um, the proprietor, Ethan, is not too familiar with cards, so he basically said, you know, have at it, man, and gave me what I would consider a very generous price, a very kind price, and a price at which I could not say no. I actually made him the offer, and he didn't even hesitate, so, you know, shout out to Ethan. I'm sorry, I'm just going to up this a little bit, and then move it one more time, and then I swear I will stop messing with your field of vision here, guys. I want to make sure that we can get most of this in as much of its glory as possible without glare. All right, so this Luke number one in a PSA 10, that's one of the grading companies, I guess, goes for several thousand. Um, I don't think this is close to a 10, probably a seven or an eight. Um, I don't know much about grading cards, but I do know that if you look at the border, border here and the border here, they're not quite even. That's one of the huge things. And then just the condition of the card. But, you know, you've got your Luke, your R2, Han, Leia, Obi-Wan, Grand Moff Tarkin. I mean, it's just beautiful. Just beautiful as we continue to go through this set. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you know, the Tusken Raiders. Luke realizing <laughs> what might have happened to Uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. Cantina, getting through the cantina, going through the asteroid field where the Alderaan was destroyed, onto the Death Star, into the trash compactor. My gosh, I mean, this just brings me back. I had several packs of these as a kid, and I had stickers that I put all over my um, my bed frame when I was like seven or eight years old, but that in no way, in no way uh, compares to what we have here today. This stuff is just amazing just amazing you can see they might not have originally been planning and doing so many sets because here halfway through the first series we're already at the medal ceremony um we got several more medal ceremony medal ceremony promotional pictures you know a lot of these are repeats some of them are just scaled down ones and there is the end of the blue there were 66 cards in each series so 66 blue and then we start series two, which just goes back and takes more still pictures from the uh, from the movie and makes them into these beautiful, beautiful cards. Right here, I love this one. Oh, if any of my body parts will help, I'll gladly donate them. And the guy's like, don't worry, we'll put them back good as new when R2 got shot during the uh, raid on the Death Star. Um, beautiful space pictures, training on the Millennium Falcon. Just, just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Princess Leia stuck in this cell. The Bantha there. Luke with that funny hat and those binox. <laughs> Give me those binox there. <laughs> just say binoculars, dude. Just say binoculars. 
making the arrangements for the Millennium Falcon, Obi-Wan. And these, um, the, the first series of blue ones were all like, they felt like they were in, I'm going to use comic grading terms, fine condition, maybe fine plus, maybe very fine minus. These all feel like they're very fine plus, near mint minus. These reds are just gorgeous. I want to transfer to the Academy this year. You can transfer to the Academy next year. That's what you always say. Meh. Sorry, I'm like just having a blast living through this, man. I'm so, so happy to have completed this set. And I did not think I was going to complete this set anywhere near as quickly as I did. Like this was just a long-term project. Hey, when you get a chance, you'll get those uh, reds and those yellows and finish those oranges. Then oh, I got to switch these around. I like them all facing that way. And then I just found, like, you know, a guy who's got a whole bunch, and he had a lot of doubles, too. The collection he bought, the guy had, like, tons and tons of doubles, um, which was really nice, but he had complete sets of the red and yellow, and so, boom. Here I am doing the Full Run Friday episode, and kind of loving life, man. I really am. I'm so sorry. I want these all facing the other way these uh horizontal ones it's just my own personal preference look at these man <laughs> he shoots first i guarantee he does i saw the original in the theater i have a feeling we're all gonna be a lot thinner <laughs> i mean they really like realized what a gold mine they had here and they just started taking you know several pictures from the same <laughs> from the same scenes like just uh one after the other and producing these all right so we're coming up on this and i just want to point this out and stop here this is 207 and this is the replaced version so if you know the story here um there's a part of c3po's uh exoskeleton that makes it look like he's got a huge erection going out almost to his elbow. I mean, the man is endowed. And that is called the Goldenrod um, error. It's now referred to as an error, but it was actually printed originally. And it, it was just the way his, like, pants, for want of a better word, go up there. Um, it's been airbrushed out. So when I saw that this guy had a pack of... It was like, it was just, a, they were all in Ziploc bags. And this was like ish, number 200 to 220, let's say. And this is number 207. I said, hey, did you check to see if the Goldenrod um, error card was there? And Ethan didn't, wasn't familiar with that. So I showed it to him. Now, in raw, mid condition, it's like a $20, $30 card. Slabbed, it gets up there. Slabbed in really good condition. It can be a several thousand dollar card if it gets to like a 9.5 or a 10.0, right? And these were really nice. You might say, well, why didn't you just take it if you didn't know about it? Um, dude, that's just not how I operate. The guy had cards. He was selling them cheap. Star Wars comics that I bought that day, pretty cheap. Um, I, I, I wouldn't feel good doing that. I might do that to somebody who just didn't know what they had was aware that, that it existed um, and was charging an arm and leg for stuff. And I felt like, hey, I'm getting over on this guy because, you know, he or she is just like got ridiculous prices. But this is an LCS. There's three of them in Tacoma, so I'm super lucky. Uh, but this guy's always been good to me, always held comics for me. If I show up as I did recently and said, hey, man, thanks for holding those comics. I actually don't want these three. Um, he's been very gracious about it. So I felt like trying to, you know, pretend that uh, that this was just a regular pack and buying like those 20 cards or something just felt wrong. It felt wrong. And I think in the end, karma, you know, I don't know how you feel about karma. It, it sounds like a mystical thing to me. But I do feel like generally if you give off good vibes with people that you're dealing with, it will come back to you. And, you know, in general, it has. He's always made fair deals with me, always knocked off from, like, 10% of prices when I when I buy stuff. And I, I enjoy going in there. So I'd feel horrible if I, like, you know, not stole, but if I bought a card on the cheap way less 
you know, I, I paid um, a paltry sum for all these cards, uh, the three sets that I added to so what I already had. Um, because I know he bought it for a paltry sum, but I, I'd feel really bad if I just tried to, like, steal that. So that's not my style. I just wanted to put that out there. General Dodada. Is there any Mon Mothma pictures? Because, you know, she's a big character now in uh, Andor and stuff. I like what we're seeing with Mon Mothma. I think we're going to see Mon Mothma in Ahsoka. I'm going to go a little bit faster here because, you know, it's that Biggs. All right. Fresh from the Academy. Um, because you've seen a lot of this before. Stormtrooper in yellow background. There's obviously like a production shot. Uh, got a lot, a lot of character cards here. And the Marvelous Droid C-3PO. A pair of Jawas. Some cool stuff. And then we get to orange, which I believe is the last. I've already done blue, red, yellow, and green. So this is the last set. I'm getting up into the 300s. I love this wire one when he's in the Jawa crawler. Oh, R2. That always, I thought that was really cool artwork there. As it turns out, at the same time, I almost got a complete set of the Empire Strikes Back cards. Um, I'm missing like four in, in the entire set. So I did really well, um, but I haven't put that together yet. I just have this. Now, they ran out of stuff, so this is all behind-the-scenes stuff, right? George Lucas looking at stuff here. All the effects workers working C-3PO, you know, drinking a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, man, I'd love to go to Tunisia and stay where they filmed a lot of the stuff for Tatooine. That would have been really cool. George is like, Han shoots first here, but I'll change it later. Sorry, I had to put that in. Boom. Look at all the uh, special effects designers and workers. Really, really cool. I love this stuff. Um, yeah, man. Full, complete run of stories. Now, what I am missing is the stickers. The stickers were separately numbered, um, and I don't have those. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks a lot for sharing this time with me. I appreciate it. Give me a like and a subscribe and I'll catch you next Friday.